Now we've had a slight change of plans and we're moving to a different location than we thought we were going to originally or than we had originally planned. Uh, the great thing about living a location independent lifestyle is that when things need to change they can change really quickly and easily. I'm working on a project at the moment that requires me to be in Melbourne for a couple of weeks. We're heading to a town that has you know a transport hub where I can fly or catch a train. And Steve's doing the pack up on his own today because while I'm in Melbourne um, he's going to be traveling still on his own so um, just letting him do the pack up on his own make sure that he gets um, everything here and um, when I'm ready to come back I'll give him a call and find out where he is and I'll travel to wherever he is and meet up with him so we can continue on. Lake Wyangan just outside of Griffith. We're going to stay here for the weekend and then Steve's going to drop me off in Griffith so that I can travel to Melbourne first thing Monday morning. It's beautiful here right on the lake. I've been into town and had my hair cut which was very well needed because uh, it's very hard to get a hairdresser in Outback Australia so um, now we're just going to head off for a walk. lucky enough today to be invited to our friend Greg's place and he lives on this orange orchard um, in Griffith and it's just beautiful. guys are in the shed making Italian sausage at the moment and um, they're almost finished so we're going to go and check that out and have a little taste as well.
What have you got? Well, we've just got up for, with a friend of ours, Greg, today, um, who is living out on the, um, an orchard at, um, in an Italian family, hosting him out there. And he said, uh, come out and we're, uh, we're making sausages today, so come out and just have a bit of a walk around. So we did, uh, which was really interesting and a bit of fun. Got there to eat the food, but uh, come home with a whole heap of goodies as well. So we've got um, some Italian sausage, um, two different lots of salami. I think that one on the left is Calabrian. Right. And then that one is the Italian salami. I don't know, I can't remember, but um, we taste tested both. And both <laughs> oh, good. Um, they've still got a couple of weeks to, to cure, so we'll pop them in the fridge. Um, um, tomatoes. Uh, green tomatoes. Yep. And um, a bottle of wine. Some sure homemade vino. <laughs> so that'll keep us going for a while. Uh, bright and early uh, Monday morning. In fact, uh, what is it? It's just after quarter past two. I've just dropped Belinda off uh, to catch a bus. She's uh, she's actually heading down to Melbourne um, for a couple of weeks actually for work. Um, so I'm going to be travelling solo for the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to head back to the van and um, jump into bed, get a couple of hours sleep. Uh, and then uh, later on today, I'm going to stock up with some fuel. Uh, I've got to get another gas bottle, uh, get some groceries and bits and pieces. Head off to my next destination. So um, stay tuned. Cheers. <laughs>